So summary statistics are a few calculations that we can apply to our study that lets us describe the data in a few numbers instead of trying to figure out what's going on with a huge list of data. There are a few different calculations we can apply and the ones we're going to look at are the mean, the median, the range, the interquartile range, the standard deviation, the variance and the percentiles. We'll take a look at the mean first. So the mean is the average value of our data. Here we have the formula for the mean. You can see I have it denoted as x bar which is just a shorter way of writing the mean and you might see that in books or online all it stands for is the mean. On the top line this reads as the sum of xi from 1 to n. So I have written just below what this means because it can be a bit confusing to understand. The symbol we have here is called sigma and it's used to denote the sum. So it's saying that we have to sum xi from 1 to n so what that means is that we add x1 plus x2 and keep going until we hit xn. Then we divide the whole thing by n. So if say you've collected 10 observations then n is 10 and you add x1 plus x2 all the way up to x10 and divide by 10. This will be a lot easier to understand with an example. So say you have after sitting 5 exams and these are the marks you get. You want to find what your average mark was so you use the mean. So I've let capital X just stand for what we've recorded which is exam marks and N is just the number of observations that we have which is 5. Now in the formula it says that we sum xi from 1 to n. Well x1 is 85, x2 is 72, x3 is 78, x4 is 80 and x5 is 40. So you're just adding up these five values and dividing by n which is 5. And our mean works out to be 71. Next we'll take a look at the median. This is sort of an alternative to the mean. Some people use the mean value as a way of summarizing the data while other people prefer to use the median. So what the median does is it finds the middle observation of our data. In order to do this we put our data in numerical order from lowest to highest and then find the center value. We'll work through the same example to show how it's done. So here we have our exam marks just as we had for our previous example. First we order them from lowest to highest just as we have here. As we have 5 observations the center position is observation 3 which is 78 and this is our median value. Because we have an odd amount of observations the center value is really easy to find. Say we have 6 observations like we have here. So we can see that there is no center value because we have an even number of observations. To work out the median we take the two center values which are 72 and 78 and find their average. To do this all we do is add 72 and 78 and divide their total by 2 and we can see that our median value is 75. One difference between the mean and the median is that the median is not as affected by outliers in our data. All an outlier is, is an unusual observation that doesn't follow the pattern of the rest of the data. If we look at an example we can see how this works. Say again we recorded our exam marks in 5 subjects. We can see that our marks for 4 of our, the subjects were above 80 while one mark was 35. This observation is called an outlier because it is so different to our other exam marks. We find the mean of our data just as we had before and we can see that it works out as 75.6. The median is just the center observation which is 85. The mean value is much lower than the median because of the outlier value of 35. If this value were recorded as lower again it would give us an even lower mean value but our median would stay the same as 85 is still the center value.